Hey guys, Clay Cards here, uh, coming to you with a show recap. Uh, this is the Fort Wayne show. Uh, I went to that over the weekend. Usually have some decent success there, but uh, wasn't wasn't great to be honest this time around. Um, so I'll share with you what I picked up and uh, maybe touch on some prices and some thoughts behind picking them up. Uh, starting off, there was a guy there that had opened a bunch of update, so. Uh, he had just stacks and stacks and boxes of update stuff. So I was able to grab uh, some of the, a couple of the rookies. Uh, Pena I grabbed. I'll intend to grade these and uh, go ahead and sell them probably before the season next year. And same with the Julios. The plan will be to grade and then sell before the season. Uh, I think I got the Penas for four... I think they're four bucks each. And I think the same with the Julio. I think they're all four bucks each. So didn't feel like that was terrible. Uh, I grabbed these three Tatum cards. There was a guy that had a you know, stack of Tatum stuff and three prisms were in there. Uh, I gave him 40 bucks a piece for the Tatums. Um, so like if they get nines, it'll be break even. Uh, right now they're selling for 60 bucks and a nine. So, you know, 18 to grade and 40 bucks a piece. So it'll be about break even on a nine. But if one tens, uh, we're in the positive. So that's kind of the thought there. Um, just need one, one ten and, and we're good to go. So didn't see anything majorly wrong with them, but we'll have to pop them out and check the surfaces and all that good stuff. They do look decently centered. Like none of them's way off. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, grab some more baseball stuff. This was all from one guy. Uh, Victor Acosta, uh, Mega Box Chrome, Khalil Watson, a couple of those. I think these were three apiece. Uh, that might have been four. And then I gave him uh, six apiece for the cruises, which was a good price. Um, pretty happy with that. So again, these are at least ones that I look to grade and then sell before the season. And then I grabbed the Ritter Auto. Uh, this was just 20 bucks. Um, I still think at some point Ritter plays, whether it's this year or next year. Um, I just don't think Mariota can stay healthy and productive. So that's kind of the goal with Ritter is I, I think he'll play at some point and we'll, uh, try to sell him then. And then uh, got a nice stack of stuff here. Let's see here. Let's do basketball. So a couple pool rookies. These were two bucks. Uh, this was two bucks. That was ten. So this is the variation RJ. Uh, this was ten bucks out of ninety nine. Grant Williams. Uh, just like the color on that optic colors. And looks to be decently centered. So might take a shot on that. Uh, cool color of Lonzo Ball. Um, this was a buck, so, you know, whatever. Um, purple Ice is one of the more desired colors out of 149. Hopefully he gets back to, to healthy and play in some more because him and Caruso are fun to watch. And then, again, this is a buck. Stan Van Gundy, purple. I know some of the coaches actually sell pretty well. Not sure if full Stan Van Gundy falls into that category or not, but we will find out. And then uh, grab some football here. This is some of the more modern football. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, Optic Rookie. Kenny Pickett, Score Rookie. Uh, Parson, Rookies and Stars. Uh, Pulsar, Rookie. Uh, Hertz, some kind of Chromium. Uh, rookie from Chronicles. I don't remember which one these are called. Dynagon. And then a Hertz Mosaic Rookie and a Justin Jefferson Mosaic Rookie. So those, again, these are these are cards that I'll probably look over for grading and probably send out. And then uh, pick, this was a fun little uh, little find here. Guy had a bunch of old, like, colored uh, prism and tops chrome stuff. So some fun ones here. Um, Big Ben numbered out of 149 from Rookies and Stars, uh, 2007 Rookies and Stars. A cool Gronk, 2016 Red Ice out of 75. Uh, another Gronk, 2017 Optic Orange out of 199. 
Uh, Reggie Wayne, I actually have the red refractor of this, so I thought it'd be fun to add the orange. Uh, this is out of 150. A Eli Manning 2014 Topps Chrome orange refractor. And then he had a handful of the uh, 2014 Prism colors. Uh, these are actually pretty tough to find. Um, so I, I grabbed, you know, kind of the players I was interested in. So I got a Favre blue, a Stafford orange. I don't think any of these are actually numbered, except for the Gronk at the end. Uh, Eli Manning purple. That one's probably numbered. I think that's to 125. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald red power to 125. Elway orange, Peyton Manning blue, Peyton Manning color match orange, and then a Gronk out of 75. These were all priced pretty well. Like I think I paid about five a piece for them. Um, which is pretty good for the colors of that year for players that are actually good. So pretty happy with that pickup. Again, those are, those are something I'll look to grade. And then we'll go the same guy. This is, this is from the same guy, more color, but this is some of the older color. So Santana Moss, Bowman, Chrome, gold out of 50. Kind of a cool one there. I think that was three bucks or something. So I just had to grab it. Dion Branch, black, Topps Chrome Refractor, out of $5.99. This one, these are pretty tough grades, but just because the corners are all blue and they're kind of old, you know, and but I think this one looks really good. So this could end up being one that I grade. Uh, you know, former Pat, favorite uh, target of Brady there for a little while. So that's one we'll probably look to grade. And then uh, he had probably 200 um 2004 tops chrome black refractors they're all numbered to 100 but he probably had 200 of them uh, a lot of them were no namers so i tried to pick up some of the guys that you know were relevant uh so i got chad johnson tumor chad pennington jeremy shockey david carr jake Plummer, and edrin james i mean that is that's a fun group there of some really cool uh cool cards that you don't see all that often so really happy with that pickup. And then to cap it off, I grabbed a PC card here. Um, this is one I didn't have yet, or I don't believe I have. Uh, this is the 03 Chirography to 100. This is the bronze. I uh, got a good price on that, or a fair price on that, and uh, was able to add it to the PC. And then last but not least, we grabbed a Sauce Gardener uh xrc gold out of 10 from uh logan uh local guy um great sports cards is his uh his handle if you're interested in giving him a follow or seeing what he's got he's always got some fun stuff and we usually end up going to a lot of the same shows so you know when he's there i'll try to grab something from him usually just because he's he's always got something fun so was able to grab that from him and uh kind of made the show these two did and uh, plus some of that color was pretty fun. So getting to add to the PC, getting to add a cool uh, gold rookie card, and then, you know, all these all these fun colors here. So that kind of made the show worth it. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't great, but uh, getting to see some buddies and uh, getting to pick up some cool stuff always, always makes for a good time. So thanks for checking the recap, and uh, we'll be back soon.